Hi, my name is Michael Thompson. I'm here with Clean Air Coalition, and on, I'm talking about participatory budgeting. Essentially, what participatory budgeting is, is a chance for you, the citizens, to have an active voice as to how money gets spent in your community. So what we'll be doing is going after funding pots, say for example, uh, government funding pots such as um, casino revenue, HUD funding, things of that nature, and uh, getting an aspect of that budget and creating a budget. So let's say for example, if it was a budget of $2 million, just for example, you would have, you would be able to come in, come to a meeting, sit down and propose projects. Those projects will get voted on, projects will be eliminated, and then they will be put onto an official ballot. Then from there, those, once those projects are voted on based on your votes, however they end up, however the voting ends up going, the first project with the most votes will get funded first, and it'll go on from there until every dollar is spent. And that is what participatory budgeting is. What we're trying to do is ask the city to allow that money to be given out to the community so that we make decisions on where we live. We know the improvements that we want to see where we live versus someone who doesn't live there. Who's better to know what services need to be improved in their neighborhood than who lives there? And it's going to be up to you to decide which three projects are the most important. You offer comments to community control over public dollars. I hope you all are learning a lot. Uh, we have a great event planned for you. We have some speakers, some common councilmen here to talk about how excited they are about participatory budgeting. This is direct democracy. This is a way to affect how public dollars are spent. It's a way to, to, for the community to, to list its priorities, for government to, to know what the community is thinking, and it's also a way to educate the public about how the budget process works. We're here today to kind of kick off an effort to bring it here to the city of Buffalo. It's something that benefits all the people in the city of Buffalo, not particularly just one center or one particular group. It's something that is open to all. It is obviously clear to us that the community has to be involved in the budgetary process. You know, one of the biggest things that I think we said over and over again is that we need community involvement. We have to have the community involved and engaged um, in, in order to get things done. And I want to bring up Erin uh, from Community Voices Heard, a nonprofit community organization in New York City. Uh, they kind of started the process out in New York City uh, with the current speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito. So Erin is here to talk more about that process and how amazing it is in New York City and how awesome it's been. Things that is exciting about participatory budgeting in New York City is all the people that actually get to participate. Undocumented individuals who may not have ever voted before. Youth as young as 14 who are still waiting, counting, counting down the days until they turn 18. As well as formerly incarcerated individuals who may still be on parole and have had their rights taken away from them. All those people get to come to the table along with the rich man on Park Ave, as well as the worker who works for MTA, all those people get to come to the table to decide what projects or what things need to be done within their community so that the outcomes that come out of it are a true reflection of the community that it serves, where real citizens get to put real money towards real projects using real power. Tell them your testimony. Tell them how excited you about it. Let's have some fun with that. I first heard of participatory budgeting, or PB, through the Clean Air Coalition. And from there, I began researching the process in other cities. And I'm really excited to learn about its inclusivity, its transparent, transparent means of budgeting. Uh, it's a process that truly provides transparency and accountability for the way that public money is spent. And what's even more exciting to me is that community residents get to decide on the priority projects for their district and, and across the city. Uh, as an officer of the labor union, we encourage our memberships, members to be engaged in order to progress and win and complete missions. I can only ask that the electeds here in the city of Buffalo ask the same of their constituents to be engaged and we want to engage in the So I would encourage you, please, to include TV in the 2016 budget also. There's two narratives that I've heard, two dramatically different narratives. And one is that Buffalo is a, is a city with a lot of opportunity, future development. Buffalo's on the rise. But on the other side, I heard a completely different narrative, one of powerlessness, one of complete difference. One that says Buffalo does not care about us. Buffalo has never cared about us. 
And my opinion and um, what I think that my community needs does not count because it has never counted. Because my community has always been left behind and completely forgotten about. And I think PV can be a step in the right direction for that. I think it gives power back to the people. It at least gives them a chance to give input and even in some cases have a seat at the decision they can take. It's truly what government and democracy is about. It's about giving them ownership. For too long we've taken, we've had a culture of let me control, let me be the power broker, let me make all the decisions. And the people don't want that. That's why voting has gone down. Because people are sick and tired of us delivering rhetoric to them, talking about what we're going to do. Yeah. But it's not really about us doing it. It's about us empowering them to do what they want to do. the PV process, it would bypass those special interest 501c3 organizations where a lot of the monies are passed because once it passes through the threshold of these organizations, accountability stops. PV to me is a no-brainer. Um, the community has done all the work for the council. We've addressed the issue of being, we need more citizen participation. We've come up with a solution and identified three pots of money we can use. All the common council has to do is decide how much they're going to put into the 2016 budget for PV. And PV will give people the opportunity to feel like they matter. And if you feel like you matter, then you will come to these meetings and participate, and you will converse with your council people about funding and you do things to improve your community. Uh, the council members, you are servants of the people, and I think it's time that we recognize the role in which we play and fulfill that role as opposed to taking it uh, upon ourselves to think that government is from our officials down to the people. It is from the people upward. This is democracy at its very basic core. Uh, implementing participatory budgeting will allow us to give people who otherwise feel disenfranchised, who feel disengaged, a real opportunity to have a say on what happens in their community. An actual, physical vote to determine what kinds of projects go into their communities and impact their lives on a daily basis. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your tax dollars. You should have a voice where it 